Hey guys, today is Wednesday and um, I've declared it to be pajama day. One reason why is I have a headache. I've had a headache since yesterday. It started yesterday and um, I think it's because we're supposed to have storms tomorrow and whenever that happens, my camera is way off. I'm just going to deal with it for now. Anyway, um, whenever we have storms, I sometimes get headaches, my knees hurt, things like that. But it's okay, I can still function pretty well. I don't like looking at screens, so actually last night, I ended up not editing the video that uh, is gonna be for Wednesday night, but I edited it today, it's fine. My head is feeling a little bit better, or it was <laughs> when I was doing that, but as the day progresses, it's gotten a little bit worse. Um, I did not do the dishes last night that I told you I was going to do. I'm going to be completely upfront because of my headache. I didn't, but I did wash them today. And I'm about to put the garlic bread in the freezer. I'm going to show you how I do that. And we made a big boo-boo and it's messed up tonight and tomorrow night's dinner because we forgot to look at the menu plan over the weekend and take the chicken out that we were supposed to do and put it in the refrigerator because we were supposed to I was supposed to roast a whole chicken today and because I didn't take it out of the freezer it's, it it wouldn't have gotten thawed in time so I don't know what we're having for supper tonight and with the way I'm feeling right now I'm kind of leaning towards the frozen pizza in the freezer <laughs> I'm kind of leaning towards that. I don't know yet. We've had a lot of convenience quick foods lately. What is happening? We've had a lot of those lately and I really don't want to do that. But I don't know um, what else to do. And I haven't put much thought into it today because I've been fighting a headache. And um, so I'm fine. It's just I know it happens. It's the weather. It's the pressure in the air. And um, I just try to wear my hair down and it's not like a migraine, but it's not fun. Y'all know how what I mean? I can still smile, I can still be happy, but it's not fun. <laughs> so, um, I could let Noah eat leftovers from last night. Um, okay, there's only a piece of corn in that. I was gonna say I could eat that sausage and corn that was left, but there's only a piece of corn in that, so the Jeff must ate the sausage. Oh, and the um, sausage and bacon that I cooked Monday, yes. Um, Jeff saw that, and he, uh, I've eaten off of it too now. I've eaten the last two mornings, but he saw it, so he was like, what's this for? I said, it's for us, it's just for like quick meals for breakfast and um, so that I don't have to deal with, uh, cooking in the mornings and can get my medicine taken faster. He said, oh, okay. And he stuck it back in the refrigerator. I said, it's for you too. You can have some of it. And he was like, well, no, it's yours. I said, not all of that. <laughs> so I told him he better eat some of it if he wanted it. So he took it out and he made himself, he fried himself some bologna, which I didn't know that that's what he was doing whenever he was over here for um because he was doing that while i was doing something else yesterday oh no monday might have been yesterday it doesn't matter <laughs> i i get so stuck on the days and the things and that i just it was yesterday anyway he uh made himself a bologna and sausage sandwich and then he made him a bologna and bacon sandwich for work he said those things were good, but he made one for here at home for before work, and then he made the other one for later, because he, whenever he got up yesterday, he got up super late, and I was already doing other things, so he just came over here and started cooking himself, or frying some bologna, um, but anyways, I gotta turn y'all around so I can show you the bread. Okay. So, the worst part about all of this, whenever I do this, is touching this pan because it's freezing cold. And I hate it. <laughs> but, the way I do it, 
is I put in as many pieces as I can fit in the bottom. And yes, some of your cheese is going to fall off, but that's not a big deal. Maybe I can do it this way better. I don't know. I think I can fit that one in too. I mean, they're flash frozen, so I shouldn't have a problem, but I don't want to take a chance. Then I'm going to stick this piece in. So they can be separated. Actually, I am going to take one of those out and put it up top because I have two bags. It's fine. I'm going to have to use two bags anyway. So there's that one. And I get all that wax paper inside and I just close it up. And then I stick it back in the freezer and oh, this one is just not helping me. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I can just take this out and just be six in each bag. This bread is larger, which like I said, I like the brioche better than any of the others. Texas toast would be my next favorite. But um, the thicker, the better, in my opinion. But, you know, that's also opinion, you know? So, wait, I counted wrong. This is eight. I went seven. What? I can't count today. All right. I'm just going to fold that over. I wouldn't usually use this big of a piece of wax paper, but since I already have it here, I'm not going to waste it. I'm just going to stick that in there. You know what? You're not going to cooperate. You can go on top since I have all that extra wax paper. And then I just close it up and I get all the air out that I can and I freeze it or I put it back in the freezer because it's already frozen. And then I just take it out and cook it, toast it whenever I need it. And it's cheaper than buying those boxes of really flavorless stuff because this tastes so much better. But I'm going to put this away and I'll come back. Okay, so like I said, I don't know what I'm doing for dinner. I don't know what I'm doing today because I don't have any plans at all which is really odd for me because usually I know what I'm doing I know what I'm gonna be somewhat know what I'm gonna be doing the only thing that I really need to do is I need to clean our bathroom and I haven't shown y'all that in a long time so I think I will take y'all in there and clean I know I never show y'all the tub no, I can't say I never I haven't shown y'all the tub in a long time because it's just awkward to try to film it. And like I've said before, when I clean the shower, it's usually right before my shower. So I just go ahead and get ready to get in the shower and clean the shower, if you know what I mean. Um, and then I just go ahead and wash myself. Let's just go ahead and go there. Um, <laughs> I've been there before, I've told y'all before. So, I'm going to show y'all, like, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to clean the, um, I need to clean the, the tub, not tub, man, I need to clean it, but I'll do that later. Um, I need to clean the toilet and sink and the floor. So, I'll just take y'all in there and we'll do that today. Otherwise, I don't know any other chores that I really need to get done today. Let me look at my list and see if there's anything on there that I can do with a headache which I'm kind of scared to do the to the bathroom because sometimes the cleaners give me a worse uh, give me a headache so that's why I tried to get the natural ones but they gave me headaches too but then I find out that let me just stop um yeah really the bathroom is the only thing that I can do today because I don't have any fa laundry laundry to do I was gonna say laundry to fold I don't have any laundry to do um uh, I, I'm, it's not dog bath day because Noah and Jeff do that on like Saturday or Sunday. Um, so really the only thing I need to do, the only thing I can do is clean the bathroom and figure out what's for supper. Um, oh, 
I have already cooked ground beef. I'm trying to figure out what I can do. I don't want chili. I don't want spaghetti because we just had the pasta yesterday, the lazy lasagna. I have some hamburger helper that I really want to get rid of, but I don't really want that either. I think I'll do stew tacos. Usually I cook the tacos, taco meat with the seasoning, you know, as I'm cooking it. I could do tacos. Let me think about it while I'm cleaning the bathroom, which is gross. Not really, but it is. I mean, we're, you know, I don't know. Is it gross? Probably not. It's just my brain. Um, so let me go clean the bathroom. I'll take you guys with me. Yes, you'll be hearing music as I do it because I won't be talking about it. But yeah, I'm going to do that. And I really need to clean around the back of the toilet. I have neglected that area a lot. And the other day, whenever Jeff was in there working, he had his boots on and he smeared up. He messed up part of the baseboard. I really want to get that done because it's annoying. So yeah, let's go clean the bathroom really good. At least part of it. I'll clean the tub later. You just won't see it. <laughs> um... And what could I do with ground beef that's not chili, that's not spaghetti, that's not something like I had yesterday, or, you know, that's not the... I could do hamburger soup. I really don't want soup. I keep going back to tacos, but then could cook with y'all with that, but that won't be much of anything to share with you. But I may do it anyway. We do have a tomato that needs to be eaten. Alright, I gotta clean the bathroom.
Lost outside of nowhere A stormy rain tried to wash away the dream Staff one, it says a worn outside And the diner's name is California Dream So it didn't take long to get that done and I did put my hair up because I didn't want to get my hair into the gross. <laughs> it's just a habit. And I showed y'all what I was using. I used that Lysol, the yellow one, not Lysol, Windex. The yellow Windex, the kind that's antibacterial. It doesn't bother me as much as some of the others. Um, I don't love the smell of it, but it doesn't make things worse and it doesn't make me have a, he a headache and I actually forgot that I had some in there so um that's what I used also I can just do the window the mirror window there's no window in that bathroom the mirror and everything and it's all purpose and I am washing something because I'm washing the rug that was in there because I have two of the same exact rugs I got them from Aldi and then I'm washing the little rug that was at the back door and the one that was over there so I do have some washing to do today but I'm gonna wash dry and throw them back down um, well not the one because I've already put one down but it didn't take long to do that and I got all behind the toilet and everything I don't know how much of it y'all saw because really with that bathroom being so tiny it's hard to get a good angle but with that bathroom being so tiny it's super fast to clean and the bathroom floor and the toilet are two of my most hated places to clean because I mean now the floor is not quite as bad but I did notice because I had not gotten behind the toilet very much there was a lot of my hair back there and a lot of dust bunnies so if nothing else I need to get the dust buster and go back there and vacuum behind it I mean it's not that big of a bathroom it's not that hard to clean it but sometimes when my back is hurting or something like that, I don't want to get in the floor. Today, my back has got a little bit of a twang or whatever, a twinge or whatever to it. But it didn't bother me to get down in the floor and do that stuff. So, that is done. The bread is done. I'm washing those. And I don't know what I'm doing next. Because honestly, I really need to get some planner videos filmed. Because I have three more to film this week. I really need to get that done and get them edited and get them uploaded and um, you know change my focus a little bit sometimes in the middle of the week to those things is what I have to do and I also have to study for tomorrow's Bible study which will be your today so it should have already happened by the time you see this Thursday's Bible study I need to study for that again I've read it already but I do want to go over it again and just refresh myself. So, you know, 
to be prepared because I know we're doing this together, but I feel like I'm, because I'm the one leading the live stream, I'm kind of leading it. I need to keep a conversation going or keep some words happening while I'm filming it or while I'm streaming it. Because if I just sit there silent, what's the point? <laughs> so um, anyway, I need to do those things. So whenever I finally figure out what we're doing for supper, I think I'll give Noah the choice. I'll let y'all know. This might be it. <laughs> I may just do the frozen pizza, even though I kind of don't want it. But it would be so easy. And I need easy lately because of the craziness of my brain, the brain fog and the whatever. But I am getting better with the brain fog, it seems. It seems like it's, it's just lit. the fog is lifting. I don't know. I could be wrong. Now I'm sweaty though. <laughs> I feel gross. Usually after I clean the bathroom, I want to shower immediately. That's one reason why I clean the shower while I'm, like, whenever I get in, I clean it and then I shower myself. But since I started filming the bathroom, I haven't been doing that. Not that I'm gross. I didn't get anything on me. It's just this thought. It's this, my brain, your brain does things to you. My brain's doing things. But anyway, I will be back. At some point, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'll be back at some point. Okay, so it has been decided we're having burgers. The reason why is because we have some buns that need to be eaten. And uh, we have hamburgers already made in the, from, you know, in the freezer. I took them out a little while ago. They're not completely thawed, but that's all right. Put some salt and pepper in the pan. I don't know if you're supposed to do this or not. But I'm doing it because I need the bottom side seasoned. So these are pretty big burgers, but it was um, like 80-20, I think, or maybe it was 73-27. I don't remember. But anyway, put those in there, and I've got four here that I'm doing because Noel will most likely eat two, and if he does not. Then he'll eat one, and then Jeff will have one for work. But I just thought about, he needs something for tonight, too. He maybe will eat just leftovers. I don't know yet. We'll see. I'm going to wash my hands real quick and season that side. So, I don't think I got all the water off my fingers, and that will not be good to put in salt. I don't know if y'all ever noticed it or not, but I don't always thoroughly dry my hands. <laughs> not like they should be. But anyway, I'm going to salt and pepper this side. I do have the skillet on, but it hasn't been on for long. I mean, I can hear it sizzling some, but it's a very small sizzle. It's a tiny sizzle. But anyway, we've decided we're going to have this. I asked Noah what he wanted as a side, and he asked me how many sun chips we had. So I take it he wants sun chips, so that's what we're doing because we have plenty of those for tonight's supper. And I'm going to cut up an onion. Actually, let me just grab all that stuff, and I'll come right back. Okay, so as I had said, I um, had tomato that needed to be eaten, and I've already washed it, and I've already peeled this onion. This is a sweet onion. Oh, that's crooked. I like mine a little bit thinner, so I cut some of it thinner than the other parts, just because... I don't like a thick piece of onion on my burger, but I like onion. Oh well, it's not cut perfectly, but it never is. But we don't care. Alright, I've got this tomato. I don't know if it's actually going to be any good at all, because um, it has a spot on it here 
sit. Why are you not cutting through? There we go. Well, that's just a little bit on the outside of it. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut this up. And, oh, it's growing. But we looked it up and we found out that's okay. We're just going to take those seeds out. Or maybe I'll just go plant it. No, I'm not. We'll just take those out because we don't want to eat that part. It's not hard to get them out either. But I'm glad that I did more. What are you doing in here, Bug? Get out of my house. Oh my goodness. Anyways, I'm glad I looked it up further and found out more information instead of wasting tomatoes. And I had wasted quite a few over time because I had read an article that said that. But it, it made me wonder, you know, why can you eat other sprouted things? Why can you eat sprouted ground, ground what are they called? Grain. Why can you eat all the other stuff, but you can't eat a sprouted tomato? Which I know tomatoes are not shades. They're a different thing. But. I'm just going to get all these I can out. Now, I don't eat tomato on my burger. I don't like it on my burger. But Jeff and Noah do. So. It will be here for them. Well, it's just not here right now, but he'll want it later. And then I got some iceberg lettuce here. That I'm going to get some of it off. And then I'm just going to cover this stuff up. And um, I'll get cheese out, whatever kind no wants. And then whatever kind I want and I will also get out um, like some of that bacon if no one wants it. I don't know if you will. Let me get rid of all this stuff. I have made a mess with the made of Not at all. Dry that up some. Oh boy, I'm just making a mess. I'll flip the burger real quick. the other day that Titus had said on one of their videos whenever they were he was making burgers on the grill he said never press down on your burgers I've said that forever because you're just getting all the good juices out of it and um I've said it also about pancakes you don't press down on a pancake all the fluffiness that you've tried to work in until it comes out but I see people do it. I've seen them do it for years. You just, there's certain things you don't try to flatten unless you want them to be dry or not fluffy. Alright, I'm going to put this tea. 
tea towel over this. There's a spot in that. So in case there's any more of those fly bugs, they won't get into my food. Can't stand those things, but you know, it's just a natural thing. They're always around. So, now my battery's dying. Um, I'm just going to let these get done. I'll show you what they look like after they're done. I'm going to grab the buns, bring them over here, clean up a mess some because i got tomato juice everywhere. And we'll just have a simple supper again. That's just the theme lately. But I also remembered that I had put back a little bit of chicken that I had cooked last week. I put it in the freezer. Um, whenever I did that creamy garlic chicken pasta, I had a little extra chicken. You guys remember if you watched that. And I put it, I think it's in this one. Oh, there it is. I put it in this freezer. And I had said what I was supposed to cook tomorrow night, I couldn't cook because I didn't cook the whole chicken tonight. Well, if I take that and a can of chicken, I'll have plenty of chicken to make the dressing that we're supposed to have tomorrow night because that's what we're supposed to have. I may or may not still do it. We'll see. But um, for right now, I'm going to clean up my mess and let these burgers cook. I don't have them on a real high temperature because they are still pretty frozen. And I want them to cook all the way through and not burn on the outside. But I do want them to get that nice brown texture on the outside that comes only when you're using an iron skillet, it seems. I mean, you can get it other ways, but it's just better or easier with an iron skillet to get that brown yumminess on the outside of your burger. So, I'll be back. Okay, so here are the burgers, and I did throw some bacon in there, but I had already turned it off, so it's just going to kind of warm it through. No, I didn't want any, so... Anyway, there's that, and you've already seen this, and we've got cheese and ketchup and mustard and pickles and the sun chips, and Noah has moved the burgers, <laughs> the buns, not the burgers. So that's our supper for tonight. Okay, so while Noah is building his burger, I decided to come over here and close out the video. So I hope that you enjoyed this video today. That is all I have. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I do appreciate it. If you like this video, go ahead and do all the YouTube things. If you didn't like it, then do them anyway. You might like something like, like something I do later. Uh, I've made burgers lots of times. I don't usually do a taste test for those because I've done it lots of times. I know how it tastes. It's not a new thing. I usually do taste tests for things that are new. Um, but I know I like burgers. But anyway, most importantly, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet.